Hey everyone, how's it going? So I've still been getting a lot of really fun requests for some of the different sharks in the video game Hungry Shark World. And I'm having a lot of fun drawing them, so definitely keep sending me your ideas of what you want to see. Now for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the Hungry Shark World Atomic Shark. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Atomic Shark from Hungry Shark World, we're going to begin with the eye. So I'm going to start right up here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's going to come down like this. Starting here, I'm going to make a circle shape in here for the eye. And I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go up and down for the eyebrow. Starting up here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. It's going to go out, and it's going to come down like this. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up, and a line that's going to come down. Draw a line that goes down. We're going to go over, and we're going to go up. Next, I'm going to bring this line back here. And starting up here, we're going to make the fin. So to do this, we just want to make a line that's going to come up. It's going to come to a point, and we're going to curve it down here. Starting here, I'm going to make some pointy teeth. And I'll put a couple more up here. Next, we're going to add some more pointy teeth over here, too, on the bottom. Starting here, we're going to make a little line that's just going to curve down. We're going to come down like this, and we're going to go up and come back with a point. We'll make a little bump. We'll draw a little line up. And a little line is going to come out with a point, and then it's going to come back down. Next, we'll make a line that goes up and in. And one that's going to go up, and it's going to come back into here. We'll draw a little line that's going to curve around. Right here, I'm going to add a little curved line on each of these for like a claw. And then we're going to make another line that's going to go out and come back for another claw. Starting here, we're going to make a line that's going to go down. It's going to come out to here. I'm going to make a line that's kind of pointy that comes up for the tail. Then it's going to come back here kind of pointy. Then I'll make a little line that's going to come down to a point, and it's going to come up here. Then we'll make another little one that goes out and then comes up. Next, we're going to draw a line that comes back. And then starting here, I want to make like the little back leg. So to do this, we're going to draw a little line that's just going to come down. We're going to make a little line that comes to a point and up. And one more that comes to a point and then comes back down. Make a line that comes up and in and curves around. Make a little line that comes down. It's going to jump over here. And it's going to connect to here. Starting here, we're going to make a line that goes down, over, up, and then over for like a little chain on the back. And then we'll make two little lines that come down here. I'm going to draw a little line that goes down and over. And a little line is going to go down, over, and up, down, over, and then up and over. We'll put another little rectangle shape right down here. 
Now on this foot, we're going to add a couple of curved lines for some claws. And then right here, we're going to make just a long line, kind of broken, that comes right up to here. We'll make a little line that curves around for the nose. Then I'm going to add just a couple little curved lines underneath here for the eyes. Next, we're going to make some little broken lines coming down. And a little line's going to curve over. Now I want to add a couple details onto him too. So one of the things we're going to do is I'm going to add a couple little oval shapes up here. We're going to put one there and we'll draw one right there. Then I'm going to add just a little curve line in here just to kind of show that they're kind of sticking out. We'll put a couple over here too with that same thing. Then back here we're going to make some little like these little nuclear rods kind of sticking out of them. So we're going to make lines going to go up, over, and then comes back in. And one more here, up, over, and then comes back in. Line that goes up, it's going to curve around and come down. We're going to go up, curve around, and come down. The line goes up, over, and down. We'll go up, over, and down. I'm going to make another little line that goes up, over, and down, and a little line goes up, over, and down, just for some more little details kind of coming out of them. Next, I'm going to take this line, I'm just going to make it kind of wavy, and I'm going to bring it right to here. And I'll add one little kind of long line right here by his mouth. Then I'm just going to add a couple quick little lines kind of right along the tail. And there you go. There is your drawing of the Atomic Shark from Hungry Shark World. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.